Oh my god, they can't see me. Oh, they can't see me. No matter what happens, I can just shoot this super mutant. Let's just shoot him in the right arm. Oh, Jesus Christ, he exploded. Are you tired of being seen? How would you like to become 100% invisible? That's right, we're talking so invisible that you could walk up and punch someone and they wouldn't even be able to perceive your own existence. You will achieve a level of invisibility where light will simply refract around you and you'll be clearer than a pane of glass. You could be screaming at the top of your lungs, you could be using a minigun, no matter what you're doing, you will never be seen again. That's the joy of this exploit, and we're gonna pull it off today. But nonetheless, here in the wonderful world of Fallout 4, everything is very dangerous. You see, people could literally be walking around with handheld nuclear devices, meaning survivability in this wasteland is relatively difficult. But that's why today we're going to be adopting a unique British strategy to dealing with wasteland troubles, as we're going to lose our lovely character here of Rianu Keeves, that's right, the man, the myth, the legend, and the cousin of Keanu Reeves, it's Rianu Keeves. Today, we're going to make him kind of immortal by trying to create a 100% chameleon build. Now, if you've ever seen my old Oblivion video, you'll have watched as we took an incredible character and gave them so many invisibility perks, they became undetectable for the AI. Now, our aim today is to do the exact same thing with Rianu Keeves. We're going to stack as many stealth modifiers to turn him into one incredibly stealthy boy. Now, of course, before we dive into this video, make sure you're sat back, relaxed, with a nice warm cup of tea in hand and hey, you can even be truly majestic and increase your own charisma points by liking this video. Onwards with our adventure. Now I've already done a little bit of work on our character of course from the previous episodes and I've managed to pick up 5 additional perk points which we're going to invest now. As you can see Rianu Keeves is an incredibly majestic man. He's not very smart but he doesn't need to be smart because he's lucky. Now when it comes to increasing your stealth stat inside Fallout 4 there's a few ways to do it. With each perk that you have have an agility, that's your stealth increased by 1. So as we have agility maxed out to 10, hey, that's 10 stealth points. At the same time, sneaking is also very important. The sneak attribute here makes us 20% harder to detect while sneaking, so we'll be picking that bad boy up. We'll also be picking up the next one, which makes us 30% harder, and then 40% harder, and then 50% harder, and then finally, engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you. This one's less important, you can kind of stop at level 4, but we'll pick it up nonetheless. Now, because of that, our sneaking ability have been massively increased. If we're to just simply crouch now, we're much harder to detect. Look at that, we even go briefly invisible. Oh, that's perfect, look at that. But the issue is we're not 100% perfectly stealthed. This is only minorly stealthy. We need to take this to a new extreme. And now we must begin our incredible adventure, ladies and gentlemen, as the majestic Rianu Keeves. My goodness, I forgot how fast our lovely boy was. He is truly majestic. Now, we're looking for some very important items in order to make this build possible. As we We've just done all of the easy ways to make stealth easier, but we're just getting the tip of the iceberg started. Because there's also legendary bits of armor that have a chameleon perk that increase stealth by 20% if you're wearing them. If you somehow manage to find a full set, you could theoretically boost your stealth stat up to 140% if you can fill every apparel slot with chameleon armor. Of course, the odds of finding that are ridiculously impossible, so we're just going to have to probably settle for a good two or three pieces of the chameleon armor. But then again, we can also make Make our lives a little bit easier because the game also has two more unique items. As you see scattered around the map there's a whole bunch of covert ops magazines that can be located. There are 10 in total to find and finding each one will give you a rank in the covert operations perk, a hidden perk in the game. If you manage to collect all 10 you can actually boost your stealth by a further 40%. It's going to be a nightmare to find all 10 ladies and gentlemen but trust me we're going to do it. And then finally there's also a sneak bobblehead which if we can locate somewhere near the northeastern commonwealth location, it will make us 10% harder to detect. All of these things stacked up will make it possible for us to achieve the incredible 100% stealth improvement, but of course we want to take this to even further levels by getting ourselves some chameleon armor as well. Now of course it will be difficult to fight our way through the commonwealth, except it actually won't, because ladies and gentlemen, remember, we're Rianu Keeves. We have access to the most powerful stabber in the game. It's a chainsaw which also is rocket powered and filled with nails for some reason. We also have the incredible super sledge. And then how could we forget the most powerful weapon of all time? The power of Yorkshire tea, ladies and gentlemen. A mini pipe gun which can shoot nuclear bombs. Ah. 
With all of this, how could we possibly lose? Right, well, it's time for us to start our incredible journey. Now, I think we should probably start off by picking up that stealth bobblehead, which is located way over here on the map around about here. So we're just going to teleport over to the fish packing location and then make our way to this custom destination, whereupon which we should be able to track down and find ourselves an incredible sneak improvement. Well, look at that. We can see someone over there. Chances are they're an enemy. Maybe this is a great opportunity to use my stealth. There are people scattered all over this quarry and there we go we've just discovered it now down deep inside these mines is my stealth boy oh my goodness there's a person right here are we gonna be able to sneak past this person yeah you know what? we can we can i mean we're kind of close to being spotted oh caution they've ever so slightly detected us okay maybe if we hide in this corner oh now everyone's on kind of cautious alert okay okay we're gaining more caution though oh and they've spotted us okay gigs up run 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 we need to get into the mine into the mine oh Oh, sorry, you had to be wrong place, wrong time, I'm afraid, friend. All right, you're dead. Okay, just run down inside we go. Okay, right now, this here is Station Terminal 1. We're looking for Station Terminal 4, so we're going to have to keep on wandering through the mines here, although I have noticed there is someone someone here who we're just going to have to murder. There we go, 10 times damage, and away we go. Oh dear, they've spotted us. Hello there, Raider Veteran, I didn't realize you're up here. Sorry, friend, but I need to uh, saw you to death very quickly. Perfect. And you know what? There's a lot of ghouls wandering around in this area. Um, and in fact, one of them looks quite chunky. So you know what? I think I might hit them with the 1-2 thermonuclear bomb. Yeah, that one seems to have done the trick mostly. On oh, perfect. There is Terminal 4. Lovely. And next to it, it's the sneak bobblehead, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, perfect. We're now permanently 10% harder to detect. Oh, fantastic. Well, we don't need to progress any further, so we're straight on out of here and on with our quest of hunting down some lovely magazines. Okay, so we've made our way to the first US Covert Ops magazine kind of location. It's somewhere inside this comms relay. Pretty sure it's right up at the top, and of course it's controlled by super mutants. Anyway, we just have to simply climb our way up to the top, I think, of this absolute monstrosity. Oh dear. Caution. Someone's seen me. And I can hear that I can hear that nuclear bomb going. Say hello to my little friend. And now the chaos has begun. Uh, we're not really gonna be able to see much, but then again, we don't need to really. Oh my goodness, the chaos. Right, you know, I'm just just gonna run away and stealth up and then approach this again from a different angle right we're gonna use our mega slicey stick oh dear they've spotted us right we're gonna work our way up to the high ground although i think there's a man with a super nuke charging me sorry you need to die super mutant i'm terribly sorry i can hear the super nuke running up the stairs oh god he's right there oh dear god run 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 run, run. oh my goodness okay super mutants are much 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 harder than everyone else that we fought so far oh dear god run run rian Keeves, run! Alright, let's hit him with the power of Yorkshire T now that I can see that they're all grouped up into one location. Okay, we killed one of them. That was one kill successful. There you go. There's this super mutant overlord. We can one-shot him. There's a guy running around with a stabby stick. Okay, he's dead. I think there's only two more super mutants left, and they're both over there. Perfect. Right, let's hit him with a uh, one-two Merv. Okay, there we go. There we go. Think I've killed them all now. <laughs> oh, dear God. We've, that was a lot of murder. Oh, my goodness. The legendary boss had this kind of Gatling laser on him. This looks amazing. Okay, we're stealing that. Okay, time for us to climb up this main tower. I'm pretty sure that's where this uh, stealth guide is hiding. And yep, here it is. The US Covert Operations Manual. Look better in black, ladies and gentlemen. And fantastic. It's going to permanently make us more difficult to detect while sneaking. And there we go. That's one Covert Operations Manual down. Just a few more to go. In fact, the next one is located, I'm pretty sure, over there on a boat. Oh, dear God. Okay, I think we've only got nine more to get of these. Anyway, there's another covert operations manual over here to our left in the in the National Guard training yard, and then there's one wall right over here. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've just picked up covert operations manual number three. This one is on the uh, Libertalia. Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare to get up here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is filled with angry, uh, stabby people who all have very angry weapons. Hey, go away. Go away. I will, I will hit you. Don't make me hit you. Yes, we also picked up the covert operations manual over near the National Guard training yard. So we're going to pick up Covert Operations Manual number four, which is located down here. And then we're almost halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, this is proving to be a lot of work, but hey, it's going to be worth it because our stealth abilities are already much stronger than they previously were. 
day two. Okay, now it's at this stage we discover that um, actually some of the footage that you've already seen so far may or may not potentially be uh, kind of scuffed. Well, you know, these things happen, ladies and gentlemen. But from this point on, it's now premium 60 smooth FPS, no choppy footage. I know it's perfect. Anyway, I'll quickly summarize what I've actually done so far and what I've collected. So far, we've collected the Stealth Boy Bobblehead, which we picked over in the Dunwich Borers. Then we nipped over to the Satellite Array, then the National Guard Training Yard just here. Then this great big floaty boy out here, where there's another comic of stealthiness. And then this fort down here, there's another comic of stealthiness. Then all the way over here in the abandoned shack, there's a comic of stealthiness. Then Fort Hagen, there's a comic of stealthiness. Then one more at the Federal Ration Stockpile. And then the final one in Lexington. And then the 10th comic book was right up in this satellite station up here in the north. And there you go, that's all of the comics collected. Now that we have that and the stealth boy under our control, by crouching, we become much, much, much more stealthy. Anyway, so now that we're more stealthy than ever before, it's time for us to go about collecting the final elements of our necessary stealthiness. You see, our outfit for a start is not actually very stealthy at all. It turns out dressing in bright blue is not necessarily going to make you very inconspicuous. Anyway, let me just quickly go and test out my stealth capabilities. Now, it is uh, actually bright daylight at the moment, and stealth famously generally works better, you know, nine times out of ten when it's, you know, not the middle of the day. So I'm just going to go sit on this chair here and then wait until it becomes pitch black and then we're going to go and stealth our way into the local mines right now that it's getting dark we have an advantage when it comes to stealthing oh my goodness what have i done to the textures of this game why does this game now look like it's made of play-doh todd i literally just lowered the graphic settings just a small amount why is all of the concrete turned into play-doh oh wait actually nope this isn't a texture problem this is a fallout 4 loading graphics problem <laughs> Todd, why have you left the garbage graphics on top of the uh, good graphics underneath them? What's going on here, Todd? Don't worry, it's just Fallout doing Fallout things. Right now, look, there's some robots over here who I think are probably going to be willing to fight me. These guys look angry. So we're going to stealth, but naturally this they immediately detect us. Oh no, we are hidden. There we go, caution, caution, there we go. Now the issue is stealthing in front of these robots is pretty much a nightmare, and they're just going to chase me down until they 100% confirm that I am a living being. So even with our high stealth stat, we can't full robots because they just immediately detect us with their high perception rating. I mean, of course, we can kind of get a couple of like early attacks off on them, but it's hardly going to be enough to exactly win out most combats. Now, the issue is there's only really one way to actually get yourself a piece of chameleon armor and guarantee it, and that is to join the Institute effectively and go and buy it from one of their salespeople. But that's like a million quest lines away, and so that will take just simply far too long. So instead, I'm going to try my luck of just going to Diamond City and checking out all of the armor merchants, and if necessary, hitting them repeatedly until they give it to me. Uh, now, the issue is most vendors don't sell randomly generated legendary items. They sell predetermined legendary items, making them pretty much uh, useless for what we have planned. That means we need to actually find ourselves a way of farming legendary items, and my goodness, this is going to take a bit of work. Right, now, we're going on an incredible adventure when it comes to actually uh, farming legendary items. So what we've done is we've made our way up to the National Guard Training Yard, a interesting building. It's nothing particular too fancy, but we're going to be using this location to farm legendary items. Now what we're going to do before we enter into this building is drop down a quick save and then we're going to open up the door. Now there should be at least one legendary ghoul still lying around here and we're just going to quite simply murder him. Yep, there we go, the ghoul is sat over there in the corner. Well, we're going to just start murdering him. Oh wait, no, he was just a regular one. Well, actually it seems because of the difficulty not a single legendary ghoul has spawned, uh, which is fine because of course what we can do in this situation, ladies and gentlemen, is press F9 to reload our quick save. Now, of course, we could go back into this building and hope that a brand new legendary ghoul has spawned, but the odds of that happening are relatively small. Instead, we can increase the odds into our favor by simply hopping down into settings, going into gameplay, and increasing the game's difficulty up from normal right the way up to survival. Although in our case, we're going to go to very hard because the difference between very hard and survival is pretty much non-existence beyond the saving issue. So we enter into the building now from our quick save, and as you can see, the loot is slightly different. There's now a ghoul boy sat up there. What's he? He's a feral ghoul Roma. Okay, have we got any other targets sat around here? Another feral ghoul Roma. Oh, and here we go. Legendary withered feral ghoul. This is exactly the kind of guy we're looking for. So we're just going to put some shots into his head here. Uh, it should finish him off after a little bit. He is going to mutate, which is going to make him a little bit harder to kill, but with enough lasers, anything's possible. Now, after we murder him and the other ghouls, we can basically take a look at this guy and see what item he has. Now, we can see that he has this time spawned 
spawned in with a frigid pool cue. Uh, this gives us a 20% chance to freeze enemies when you block their attacks. Now, this isn't what we're looking for. We're looking for a piece of armor with a legendary modification. So what we're going to do is uh, just simply reload our quick save. And there you go. Would you look at that? The legendary feral ghoul is actually sat right the way up here. Perfect. This is going to make my life a whole bunch easier. So we're just going to murder them or just miss all of our shots, I guess. Yep, just miss all of those shots. Why not? Oh, uh, he mutated a bit, I guess, but he's going to get punched up. Die, legendary feral ghoul. And now we just want to check him. He's got some interesting items. He's got a rad powered right arm, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the issue is that's not the item we're looking for. So we're just going to have to reload quick saves until we actually get the item that we want. Okay, now that we have our first chameleon piece of armor, it's time to properly test this out and just show off kind of how powerful this is going to make us because it is an incredible thing indeed. Now, of course, to give ourselves an advantage, I'm going to be taking off basically all of the unnecessary armor and clothing because that can make noise. So we're going down into the most basic clothing we can manage and trust me, it's going to keep us safe. Right now, we're just going to have Ada wait over there and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of super mutants up there. Now, if we crouch down, we're hidden. In fact, we're very, very well hidden, basically meaning the super mutants aren't likely to find us at all. But I want to see just how close we can get to the super mutants before they murder us. And oh, would you look at that? They're walking along with some kind of, is this a prisoner of some kind? Now, I can basically be walking right here and these super mutants won't see me. I am, you know, quite close to you. I mean, if someone was standing about, you know, two to three meters away, chances are you're going to be able to see them. But no, my stealth is just too powerful. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to stand still. Now, the issue is when you're standing still, this kind of glitched menu happens, but it's fine. And I'm going to try and use this suppressed sniper here and see if that's going to alert them to my presence. So we zoom out a bit and just shoot this guy and shoot. There we go. The super mutant sees me. They're in caution mode. Can they find me? Come on, you know where you were shot from. Run towards me. Can you find me? Nope, he's still not quite able to find me. Okay, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. We're standing next to him. Okay, right. He can still see me. I mean, it's a lot better than it used to be, but it needs to be improved. 328. AM. Right, okay, many hours later, we we find ourselves in this incredible situation. I now have five bits of the chameleon body armor, and there are three super mutants walking up here. Now, what I'm going to do is drop myself down in front of them on their pathway and crouch. Now, they have no choice. They have to walk past me. In fact, they've just briefly spotted me, and they're a bit cautious, and they know I'm nearby, but they don't know my exact location. In fact, I'm now fully hidden from them, which is interesting because I now believe if I were to shoot one of these people, they still wouldn't detect me. Nope, they're cautious. They're very cautious. They they can sense something's happening. Oh my god, they can't see me. Oh, they can't see me. No matter what happens, I can just shoot this super mutant. Let's just shoot him in the right arm. Oh, Jesus Christ, he exploded. How am I alive? Oh, I somehow survived. I think the car blocked me. I am getting shot at by this super mutant here, and one of his stray bullets damaged me. But overall, I'm still alive. Okay, let me quickly jump and then crouch again. That temporarily got rid of the stealth effect, but it still remained. No, I can move up a bit closer. Now, this is technically quite a cautious game. He might spot me, but I'll crouch. There we go. He can't see me. I'm literally rubbing against him. I am rubbing against this man and he can't see me. Oh, you poor, poor. Let me just sniff you. Let me sniff you a bit. Mm, yes, you smell of mutant. Okay, Craig, let's go this way. Craig, maybe he's over here. Maybe the person who murdered your friends is standing right here. I don't know, Craig. Okay, what if we look back? Honestly, I feel like this is a cute buddy cop scenario here. Oh, no, he can kind of see me. He's shooting in my vague area. He heard a noise, but he hasn't got quite enough to work with. Those shots were definitely not accurate. Well, let me just walk up behind him. He's certainly quite on edge. You know what, Craig? I'm going to put you out of your misery. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Oh, dear God. Well, um, we've achieved total invisibility. Now, I guess we just have to go mess about with this. Right, my aim is to find a suppressed pistol and then see if I can take out the entirety of Diamond City by just crouching inside their marketplace. So, you know, we'll teleport over there and see if we can buy ourselves a suppressed weapon. Right, we've got a lot of night vision sniper rifles here. Oh, and look at this. A suppressed hardened piercing submachine gun. Or a suppressed pipe auto pistol. One of the worst guns in the game. But hey, it's suppressed. You know what? We're just going to pick up both of these for fun. Right, so now I've got a whole bunch of ammunition and I've got this incredible suppressed submachine gun with a hundred rounds in the chamber. And now I'm thinking all I need to do is drop down a quick save and then crouch and I'll become invisible. And would you look at that? I'm now hidden, ladies and gentlemen. Well, um, I'm 
I'm just gonna tell Ada to stay right here so that she doesn't get in the way of me because, well, everyone's gonna shoot Ada when they get the opportunity. Then all I need to do is stand still here. Wabam, I'm hidden. Now, let's see if I can start murdering people. Well, weird doctor person here is gonna be the first person to die. Now, of course, they're in cautious mode, but they can't tell who did the fighting. The Diamond City security guard is going to run right past me and just start phasing into this wall. You know, we can shoot him up a bit as well. Now, of course, security is being called. No one knows what's happening. The Diamond City security guard is standing around here. Oh my goodness, they're getting close. And now they've spotted me. Oh, geez, run. They can see me. Oh, wait, I know what I should have done. I should have done this at night time. Of course it didn't work now. Right, we're reloading the save. Perfect, there we go. It's now nice and dark, lovely stuff. I'm gonna pull out my gun. I'm nice and hidden. And now it's time to murder. There we go, they can't see me. They have no idea where I am. It looks like Ada's trying to shoot them now. Ada, Ada's just gonna get herself killed, but that's okay because they still can't quite see me. Here comes Mo Cron with his baseball bat. He's doing something. He can't work out where he's being attacked from, so we'll murder him. There's an iBot standing right here. The iBot can't quite see me either, so guess what? He can die. Percy here has no idea who's attacking him. Percy can also die. And you know what? These Diamond City security guards, yes, now that it's nighttime, you stand no chance of actually seeing me. All right, we've got Polly here. Let's shoot Polly twice in the head. There we go. All right, let's execute a critical hit. There we go. I'll tell you what, this suppressed machine gun is actually terrible. I mean, you can't see us. As you can see, we're quite clearly invisible, but if this robot gets too close, robot perception is too high. Yep, the robot can see me. Okay, human standing next to me, no chance. Robot standing next to me, exceedingly good chance. Well, we need to go back to the drawing board because this isn't perfect stealth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've ascended into God mode now. Welcome to my perfectly balanced creation. This man in front of us can't see us and we can move and he still can't see us. As we get closer to him, he becomes more cautious, but we're actually stealthing our way right up to this individual. I'm gonna inject some stim packs into myself and you know what, I'm gonna go rub this man's face. Let me go move even closer to him, even closer, even closer. There you go, you're cautious. Well, cautious ain't gonna cut it, friend, because what am? You're dead. He never even saw it coming. <laughs> because yes, if you just simply lightly tap the forwards movement button whilst doing this, you remain perfectly invisible. In fact, for some reason, we're becoming even more invisible by repeatedly triggering the uh, chameleon effect over and over again for maximum stealthing. Oh dear, oh dear. And anyway, I'm just gonna creep around this corner. Don't mind me. It's a child, they can't see me. It's a man. Oh, he detects me. Now he's cautious and he's dangerous and he's dead. Mm -hmm. Nom 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 nom. Well, this is uh, basically the peak and final form that we can ever create. I don't think you can actually get kind of stronger than this. It seems that unlike Oblivion, the game just simply was not really built for 140 billion percent chameleon and consequently there's just nothing we can do to create perfect permanent chameleon. We will just have to settle for slightly invisible Rianu Keeves. But my goodness is he not just ever so slightly still majestic. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and hop on down into the comment section where you must pray your eternal love to Rianu Keeves because if you don't, I'll be releasing him from this video game and trust me, he'll be at the end of your bed tonight watching you. You won't be able to see him, but trust me, he can see you. And hey, if you want to see more Fallout 4 videos where we push the extremes of this game, then guess what? Why not consider subscribing as I've got another incredible exploit lined up. You see, in Skyrim, they have the Fusro Dash out so that you can create an unrelenting force of wind and basically yeet any opponents off of a cliff. Fallout 4 doesn't have the shout powers, but it has something even more powerful. That's right, we found a way to develop unrelenting force inside of Fallout 4. So hey, if you want to see that, make sure to keep yourself tuned in. Anyway, as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my majestic patrons whose names are listed on screen now. All of these fantastic sausages make all of these videos all the more possible. If you're sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now, hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, and goodbye for now.